Hello guys, it's Jigsaw here. Welcome to today's video. Now, I wanted to start a series, I mean, not a series, but like a two, uh, two episodes videos about reasons why you should actually play Injustice 2 Mobile or why you should actually keep on playing Injustice 2 Mobile and reasons why you should stop playing Injustice 2 Mobile or why you shouldn't even get started playing this game. Uh, this video is going to be about the reasons why you should actually play this game because there are some reasons. Uh, there are reasons that I uh, convince myself um, that are worth it and that's why I still play besides my YouTube channel. Uh, but I only found like six reasons because I wanted to do like 10 reasons to play Injustice to Mobile, 10 reasons why you should not play Injustice to Mobile. But at the top of my head, I couldn't actually find 10 reasons uh, to actually play this game. So I only uh, thought about 6 of them. And at the end of the video, you may be the judge if those reasons are enough for you to actually play this game um, continuously or start uh, an account on this game. Now, let's start with number 1. Amazing graphics. Now, keep in mind, this game is a shadow of what it used to be uh, when the game launched. It used to have way better graphics, but even till this day, the graphics are outstanding. I would say it's top 5 uh, ga game graphics on a mobile app, in the Play Store or in the App Store. Uh, at the top of my head, I can really think about another game that really came close to the graphics that uh, Injustice 2 Mobile has, maybe MK Mobile, but it's still from the same company, it basically runs almost the, almost the same game mechanics, so we cannot compare it with that, but mobile games for, from other companies, especially fighting games on mobile, they usually don't have this kind of graphics, this kind of details on character, this kind of customizations. I mean, the characters look outstanding uh, and keep in mind, they used to look better. So just imagine what this game uh, would have been if they actually didn't tone down the graphics. But even now, you cannot say that this game has bad graphics. In, in fact, it has amazing graphics. The maps are designed so well. And let me jump right away into a fight in campaign um, to actually show you the map graphics if you didn't know them by now. If, if you actually analyze the graphics in, in a fight, I know most of the people don't actually do that, but you have lightnings, you have reflections, you have uh, special effects, uh, there's a lot of things going on, shadows, 3D depth effects, uh, so the graphics are pretty nice for a mobile game, actually. And keep in mind, the graphics kind of depend on the device that you are using. Right now, I am using a $1,000 um, phone, but sadly, it's an Android, and it's an Android from Samsung. And that's not a good way to actually analyze the graphics because devices from Samsung, no matter what the price is, they don't have the full graphics that this game can actually offer. Uh, if you want a better look at graphics, you need to watch gameplay from players that are playing either on an iPad or any iOS device, at least to be iPhone or people that are using like um, Google devices, Google flagships or OnePluses Cause, oh, or I believe even Huawei because those have like uh, all of the graphics it, it depends on the device and the optimizations that certain companies do uh, for this type of devices no matter how pricey your device is you only get amazing graphics on a few Android uh, companies and only on iOS. You want the best graphics for this game to actually get the most value out of it. You need to play on an iPhone, I would say. So you have shadows, you have reflections, you have a lot of things going on, particles that uh, some Android devices just don't have for whatever reason. I don't know if it's the, the mobile company's fault or it is actually the developer's fault from Injustice, it is what it is, but nevertheless, the graphics are still great 
on any device that you are playing compared to other mobile games. Uh, number two, it is the best fighting games mobile in terms of mechanics, in terms of gameplay mechanics. And that's actually the main reason why I play this game, because you have so much freedom when it comes to playstyle, you have so much versatility. This is the only uh, fighting game on a mobile that you can actually control 100% your character's movement. Uh, in MK Mobile, you cannot do that. Here, you can actually do combos, long combos, short combos, low swipes, um, uh, up swipes, uh, and also range attacks. Range attacks, you can zone the opponent, you can back off, you can do a couple of strategies here and there, you have the block button. Again, low swipe. So you have a lot of freedom uh, when it comes to your character movement. You have special abilities, super moves, compare that with the graphics. It's just amazing to play this game. I mean, it, I know it has some stutters here and there, you may experience lag, you may experience frame um, frame drop, frame disadvantage, so on and so forth, but uh, when it comes to the core mechanics of the game, they actually knocked it out of the park. It's amazing what they actually achieved for a mobile game to let you actually do combos like you would do uh, in a PC game, in a PlayStation game. I give them props for this one. Uh, this is the most enjoyable fight, uh, fighting game that you can actually play uh, from Apple Store or from the Google Play Store. There is, n uh, from my experience at least, I didn't encounter any other game that is fighting, st fighting style and has uh, the same mechanics that allow you to do so many things. Um, MK. NK Mobile is made from the same company, but it still doesn't provide the freedom of movement. You are actually stuck only with tap, tap, tap on the screen, block, do the special. Uh, you cannot do combos, long combos, you cannot jump around, do low attacks. So you are basically limited. And after playing Injustice 2 Mobile for so long, when I try to play MK Mobile, I feel like, what the fuck, why is my character not moving? Why I'm stuck in this vicious circle of tap, 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 special block? That's not interesting, that's not thrilling to fight. But in Just2 Mobile, it's a whole nother beast. Now, let's go to number three. We actually have, in this game, I believe uh, this game, of course, it has a lot of um, size. Uh, it's, I believe, two gigabytes, so you will think that it has a lot of content. So, for the number three, it is a huge selection of characters. No matter what is your favorite um, DC character, you have it right here, man. You have Firestorm, you have Swamp Thing, <laughs> you have Harley, Supergirl, Arrow, Flash, Batman, Superman, you name it. You have all of almost all of the heroes from the DC universe and you have a huge variety of characters to actually build and to play with and I'm telling you you are you are not going to get bored pretty quick with this game when you see that you have so many characters in this game so many characters to unlock so many characters to build and it's actually not easy to build character it's not easy to unlock characters it is actually a pain in the ass so you gotta work to earn those characters and when you do you are going to be so satisfied with what you are getting because you, you get an experience that is unlike anything you have ever played on um, on other mobile games because a huge selection of characters, each character with different specials, different movement, different mechanics, animations, uh, uh, skins, whatever. It just provides so much value and actually content for you to play and to enjoy. Because let's say you are in love with the Flash character. You love absolutely everything about that specific character and you want to play with that. Well, here, here you have so many variation of the Flash. You have Multiverse the Flash. You have Reverse Flash. Um, where is this guy? Come on, boy. Uh, yeah, I, 
yeah, Speed Force the Flash. You you have Speed Force the Flash. You have a, a lot of for, forms of the Flash with different passive, different abilities, animations, uh, different everything. So if you enjoy the Flash, you you don't actually just get one Flash and you are basically set. And in one month you are going to get bored of that character. No, you have like four or five version of versions of the same character with different skins and different animations. So it's amazing what they've accomplished packing all of those characters into not even two gigabytes of a mobile game because uh, there are other games that have uh, a much bigger size but they don't offer that much uh, variety in terms of character they may have like 10 or 20 characters but look at this you really have a lot of characters to play with so that's that's a big uh, plus in my book uh, number four would be the grind style of this game. You have a lot of work to do. You have daily objectives. You have achievements. You have achievements uh, being unlocked with uh, real money. You have leveling up characters. You have uh, the ability to upgrade the gears, to upgrade the talents. And... Upgrade the specials, upgrade the abilities, upgrade the character level. Um, what else? You upgrade your level of the account to earn rewards. So there are a lot of things to do in this game. And uh, when you first start this game, you are not going to get bored of this one pretty quick. I played for three years and only now I got uh, bored of this game because I have all of the characters. But for new buys, this game is going to be so interesting uh another five number five would be interesting and interactive game modes uh, that you can actually play with other with other people or other real people uh you have firstly you have leaks a game mode where you fight uh, with other people from around the world to defeat uh bosses together and your damage actually stacks up with the damage of your friends so this is an amazing interactive game mode you can actually flex with your own damage and people are going to see it you can actually coordinate you can actually interact with other people so it's amazing uh it's sad that we don't have 1v1 uh game mode but that on mobile on a mobile game is going to be kind of difficult so i cannot blame them for that uh we have arenas uh, now in this one you fight alone, but you fight against other people's teams. Uh, you left to your, you can actually leave your best team here, and other player is going to encounter it here. So see, uh, this guy left uh, his best team here, so I can actually fight that. So I can fight indirectly with the best team from that specific guy. And this one you can earn rewards. You get, uh, you have a top two hundred. You earn rewards depending on what place you you are left at the end of the season. So it's an interesting interactive game mode. And it's the same thing with uh, Champions Arena. It's a game mode where you fight people, uh, defensive teams, uh, best defensive teams. You fight people lower than you in rank, higher than you to earn points, uh, get in a higher division. This is some sort of mechanic like league of legends or something where they actually have divisions uh, and they fight they do matches to actually climb in a bigger and higher division with more experienced players it's the same concept it doesn't work that great i'm not comparing this game with league of legends uh, but it's basically the same concept but the a bit toned down and made it uh, structured actually to work for a mobile game so it's an interactive game mode as well uh let's go to number six this guy this game is a strategic strategic game with uh different character synergies different character combinations variations uh talent combos um gear bonuses you have teams that work in a certain way, you have characters that synergize well with other characters but don't synergize uh, at all with other characters. You have teams that are actually a character that are released individually to only work amazing 
with uh, one specific team, let's say, for example, the multiverse team with the Flash, with multiverse armor, Supergirl, with Green Arrow, those multiverse characters that only work well together. You cannot put multiverse of Flash, uh, no, multiverse armor, Supergirl with the Justice League team and expect her to perform just as well as with the multiverse team. So there was a lot of thought when they actually did the whole system and you have a lot of variations of everything you actually don't get bored pretty quick because you you have to worry about leveling up your character um do the right talent uh, combo put the right um talent uh, bonuses uh level up the right specials level up the passive uh, you gotta think ahead um uh, in which team you are going to use this specific character uh, we, you have gears specifically, universally actually, like artifacts, you gotta worry about that, leveling up artifacts, using them on specific characters to get the most value out of them, so they actually put a lot of thought, I mean the game is not perfect by any means, I'm going to cover that in 10 reasons why you should not play Injustice 2 Mobile, but nevertheless, it's a game well thought, it's a concept that has never been done before in a mobile game and I get, I gotta give them props for what they achieved so far with this game. I mean, I can complain for ages about this game but it still has some good stuff and uh, I, I believe those were my six reasons why I actually keep playing this game and why you should actually play this game or continuously play this game or start a new account. Uh, to actually enjoy some badass fighting game. Uh, but I also have the reason that I have my YouTube channel. Otherwise, I think I would have stopped playing a long time ago. Because, like I said, I basically got every character in the game. And yeah, that's it. I, I, I basically don't have anything to grind for anymore. But if you are a player that doesn't have every single character, you are basically set. You, you don't have to worry about being bored. Because you're always going to find something interesting about the game, some new character that you haven't tested, uh, some new combo or strategy that you haven't figured out way earlier. So yeah, those were my reasons, guys. Let me know in the comment section down below. Uh, what is your main reason why you actually play Injustice 2 Mobile or why you would actually want to start an account on Injustice 2 Mobile? Take care, guys. Peace.